The new year starts at midnight on Friday, but issues uh, stemming from the pandemic uh, through much of the current year are affecting how celebrations will be done. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett tells us how some events are canceled or changing, while others will go on as planned. Several hundred people attend the Owensboro Museum of Science and History's New Year's Eve every year. We usually have about 800 people at the museum for New Year's Eve. It's a very popular event that has grown over the years. Museum CEO Kathy Olson says for this year, the party moves from the museum to the museum's Facebook page. Due to COVID guidelines, we are limited in the number of people that we can allow into the museum. We didn't want to leave anyone out, out. so we decided that uh, the safest way to do it and to include as many people as possible would be to offer a virtual event. The museum's New Year's Eve is one of several events that are either moving online or being canceled due to the pandemic. No New Year's events are scheduled at the Owensboro Convention Center or at the River Park Center. River Park Executive Director Rich Jordan says the loss of events could also mean a loss for other downtown businesses. It's a, it's a huge hit. There's uh, not only us, but all the restaurants and all the you know bars and various things going on around town uh, in the downtown area. That There's a lot of people that aren't going to come down and go out. Other places are still going forward with their New Year's Eve plans. The owners of Diamond Lake Resort here in Davis County say they still plan to hold a concert here at this theater, but that capacity will be limited to up to a third of capacity and masks will be required at all times. Co-owner Brian Smith says there haven't been any positive cases traced to other events held at their theater since the pandemic started. We're trying to put musicians that, are, that have been out of work for months and months and months, we're trying to put them to work in a safe environment where we can do this with distancing. We're going to require masks. In Owensboro, my picket, Eyewitness News.